Hey everyone, Sam here from Barn2 with an in-depth tutorial about our Document Library Pro plugins, settings, and features. In this video, I'll be discussing how to restrict access to documents or create an entirely private document library using a popular additional plugin, Password Protected Categories. For this video, I'm assuming you already have the Document Library Pro plugin installed on your website. Then we're going to add an additional plugin, which will allow you to protect some or all of your documents using password or login protection. Very quickly, the password protected categories plugin that I'm referring to can protect categories and entire sections of your website using three different types of protection. The first one is password protection. You set up a password and people who have that password can have access to it. The second type of protection is role protection. So those people who have the type of user role and can log into your website can also access documents so long as you allow them access. And the third way is with user protection. You can specify specific users who are logged into your website that can access the content. So first we're going to take a look at our document library once again, and this time we're going to enable password protection. Now, of course, you need to get a copy of the password protected categories plugin and install it using the same steps as you did to install document library pro. I'll walk you through those steps very quickly. You go to plugins and click on add new plugin and upload. Once you upload the zip file here, then the plugin can be installed and activated. You'll also need to include your activation key during the setup process in order to activate the plugin. My plugin is installed and I can click on activate here. Now, when I go back to documents and click on categories, I can choose any category that I would like to protect, as well as I can protect new categories as I'm creating them. For example, the finance category is currently set to public. So let's change that. At the bottom of the category page here, you can see the visibility is set to public. Let's switch it to protected and let's use password protection. When I enter a new password, then anyone who wants access to this category will need a copy of this or any other password that I create. I can click update and now this category is going to be locked behind this password. Now we need to create a login page for our users by adding the shortcode category underscore login to any page on our site. Or even better, we can add the shortcode to the top of our document library page. And as soon as somebody enters a correct password, the hidden documents will appear in the library. Go to your pages and find the document library page. Click on edit and above the document library section, we're going to add a short code block and we'll write category underscore login, close that short code and update the page. Now there'll be a password portal here so anyone can enter it and see the hidden content. Here's a little tip for you. If you want to create a completely private document library, you can create one password protected category and put all of your documents within it. If you want to add subcategories, that's fine and leave them set to public. They'll automatically be protected with the same password as the main document library category. If you just want to protect parts of your document library, that's fine too. Structure it into as many categories and subcategories as you like and some of these can be set to public and others password protected. Now go to the main document list in the WordPress admin and categorize your documents as needed. So click on all documents and you need to add the categories in order for each of the documents to be listed under a certain category. So here's an example of one without a category. You can click on edit and you can choose a category. If you're looking for a more secure option to limit access to documents within your library, then you may opt for user or role protection, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. For example, if we go back to this finance category and scroll all the way down, rather than using the password protection, we can allow certain user roles, such as subscriber or administrator, and any other ones that you've set up. 
or you can include specific users that have an account on your site. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time to set up, but remember, you can apply it to your entire document library, or you can just set it up on certain categories like I'm doing at the moment. And the structure is exactly the same, and all of the password protection will be inherited by the child categories beneath the parent category on which you set it up. Now, if I go back to my incognito window so I can see what other people see, by refreshing the page, you can see the finance category is still hidden. And in order to view that, I would need to be logged in to the site. So if I go to my account, I would need to log in with an email address and a password. Now if I go back to the document library page, I can view the finance category. Perfect. It's going to take a little bit of setup to create the my account and login pages. You can use a plugin such as Profile Builder, which I've linked in the description below. Or you can just use short codes and have simple pages set up. If you're showing different documents to different people, then do not tick the caching option on the document library plugin settings page. This will ensure that each user sees the correct document rather than a cached version of the library. As you've seen, the combination of these two plugins can allow you to create a document library, which can be secured with password, user, or role protection. And that can be applied to the entire library or certain categories as you wish. I hope this tutorial helped you out today. If it did, I'd appreciate you supporting our work by liking this video. Thanks so much. And if you're looking for a more complete setup tutorial for Document Library Pro, you can check out this video next. And as always, thanks for watching.